Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sean of Third Rail Fight, and I hope you're having a beautiful day today. So, maybe sometime growing up on the internet, because we've all done it, we've all grown up on the internet, we've come across a, uh, a notorious, an infamous video. Maybe it's an image. Usually they're, I don't know, gross, often sexual in nature, or whatever. But always, you always kind of wonder, like, what happened with that? Like, and of course, don't look up if you don't know what I'm talking about. You know, it's, 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 if you know, you know, you know what I mean? Like, who, who was the person that owned the blue waffle? Oh! Ew! Dude! What the fuck? You, you know, who was that person? Where are they now? Or the girls that did two girls in a cup. <laughs> what happened to them? Where are they now? I've heard rumors of 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 they've you know they they just ended it all if you know what I mean. But it's kind of funny how how sometimes those those things infamous internet things they creep up and then you go what where are they now i wonder but that horrible video that i once saw when i was in college and it now haunts me for as long as i live well there's another one there's another one but i have an update for you in case you've ever wondered at the very least you might find the legal aspects of it funny um there was a video that that uh, I came across uh, through uh, Nick Ricada. There, there, there was there was a, a live stream of Nick Nick Ricada and 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 his friend Drex, and at some point they they talked about the clout for trout video, and I was like, I I don't know what that video is, and and then they they went on to discuss how it was. It was some Australian woman. Turns out it's actually a Tasmanian woman. But same thing, really. Anyway, she was she, she basically put a live trout in the hoo-ha. That's that's gross. <laughs> and used it as if it were a um an adult toy. And um apparently that circled around the internet a thousand times. And so of course being me i looked it up and oh boy did i did i wish that i didn't it's it's one it's one of those things as, as as i said it's one of those things that you don't forget it's it's notorious it's infamous it it will live on forever in in like burned into your brain so here is here is here is a clip of that now a a, a pg clip that only lasts a couple seconds just so you get the gist Catch trout. Yeah. What? Oh, that trout's weird. What do you got here? The trout's weird. Where's the trout? Okay. So somehow, in my absolute hectic, busy life, I missed this story, and I, I don't, I don't know how I did it, but this was um, at the end of August. Um, a woman who was allegedly filmed performing a sex act on a live brown trout on a boat faced his court. So the update to this crazy story is that they were actually caught. They were caught and brought up on charges and now going into court. We don't get these details with the other infamous internet stories or the videos. This is great. A woman who was allegedly filmed. I mean, let me tell you, she was filmed. We saw uh, there's, there's no part of her body that isn't left to the imagination. A woman who was allegedly filmed performing a sex act on a live trout has appeared in court for the first time. Catherine June Lee, 58 years old, from Hobart, the suburb of Howden, faces three charges um, in relation to bestiality material allegedly produced between February 2022 and January 2023. She's charged with one count of Possession of a bestiality product and two counts of making or reproducing a bestiality product. Usually it's white women and their dog. Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing my video on 10 reasons why I think women should have sex with dogs. 
fish was just a very weird thing because like I don't know a whole lot about fish. I know that their scales can be sharp and if you brush the scales like backwards like the wrong way, they can come off. And so when the when the dude is jamming the fish in there, he's got like the whole brown trout or whatever. He's just shoving it in there back and forth repeatedly. I'm like, what what are those scales doing? Those scales have to be coming off. Like, isn't that painful? Isn't she isn't she gonna get a yeast infection? And this is why I'll I'll never be monetized. <laughs> Oh, goodness. So she was dressed in a black suit. Uh, she appeared um, in, in court uh, seeking adjournment without a plea. She just wanted to kick the uh, the thing down the can, uh, the trial down the can a little bit. No, she wanted to kick the, the can down the road a little bit. Holy cow. Magistrate granted Lee an adjournment until October, which is right now. Police alleged the disturbing film showed Lee lying on her uh, boat at at sea somewhere near the Tasmanian South as her male co-accused uh, used a live brown trout to perform a sex act on her. The footage depicted sexual activity between Lee and the trout. Court documents allege like these these guys have them dead to rights. Now this this isn't a fish. It's just it's just the dude. Just the dude and the chick holding a fish. Um, Lee's co accused, Ashley David Hallam. Ashley's a girl's name. I mean, it can be a boy's name too, I guess. 55 faced court in May this year, but is yet to enter a plea. Well, he got um, he got his kicked. And that, that is the update that we're going to uh, talk about. So he was charged with um, a few counts of making or reproducing bestiality and three counts of possessing the bestiality, blah, 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 blah. The update, the update, the funny, hilarious update. It's not even that funny or even that hilarious, but I just can't believe we actually got the update. So the angler who filmed his wife performing a sex act on a live trout breaks his silence. Apparently their, their relationship isn't doing too well. Can you believe that? So a renowned Tasmanian angler accused of filming as a female partner while pleasuring her with a live fish will fight the allegations of producing and possessing bestiality material. I don't know how I don't know how you fight it. We we saw it. Like I mean, she got stuffed with that fish like she was a Thanksgiving turkey. Ashley David uh, Hallam's alleged camera work made global headlines last year after the the uh, the, the video found its way onto social media and quickly went viral under the tag Aussie Trout Lady. Also, if you want to find the video, it's Clout for Trout, but I don't recommend that. An international outcry led to both Hallam and his partner, uh, Catherine June Lee, being charged with a string of bestiality offenses over the vulgar video. Police alleged that that she's she's on the boat, she's lying on her back. You would have seen sort of that in the in the clip. That I played. Th Anyways, that's how you catch a trout. The man's voice can be heard saying in, in the in the video. The embarrassing scandal created by the disturbing video and ensuing criminal charges appears to have taken a strain on the couple's relationship. I don't doubt it. So the dude who looks much more put together here in the suit and 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 all that, looking looking all spiffy for court, um, showed up. And basically asked for the 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 trial to be kicked down the road a little farther. Actually, um, his his wife Catherine didn't uh, join him because you know strain on the relationship. But uh, she did call in. He did not react as as the court first dialed in his co-accused Lee at at the, at her home. The the judge agreed to allow her to appear via telephone. Hello, this is Catherine. 58-year-old said brightly when taking the call before changing to a more somber tone after being asked to confirm her identity for the court. Lee was expected to enter a plea on two counts of making or reproducing a bestiality product and another of possessing it, but instead requested a further adjournment. So that's that kicking the can down the road even farther. The 55-year-old declined to discuss his fight to clear his name with, uh, with Daily Mail. Um, 
he, he only said, we'll see what happens. Cheers. Thanks for that. So it's funny. This guy, is, this guy leaves court. He's, he, he shows up to court in his, in his best, in, in his suit and whatnot. And then he, um, he, he goes for a little drive. Gets a goes to the, the the store, gets a box of wine, and then decides. At that point, he has um. He's come to the point in his travel where he's going to basically strip down and get out of his his fancy clothes, and into more comfortable clothes. And the Daily Mail is following this guy, just taking photos. So he is taking off his shirt. And then there he is in his underpants. Like, Daily Mail, what are you doing? This guy, I mean, bold on this guy to just start changing his clothes out in the open. But Daily Mail, what are you doing? Just leave the guy alone. Anyways, the rest of the uh, the story here is silly. It just goes on about how um, the guy comes from, like, a really, 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 like, prestigious fishing family, and he's basically thrown it all away because nobody wants anything to do with him or his wife. Um, at the, everyone has just kind of shunned them. They're like, ew, you, you banged a fish. That's gross. So they're basically lepers now. They're outcasts. And that's pretty much the rest of that story. Even even places that used to know them, like a bunch of years ago, they 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 have come out to reiterate that they don't uh, want anything to do with them. So that's that that funny kind of update, isn't that a weird one? All right. Anyways, that's gonna wrap this up. Um, I love you all. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't put fish in your vagina, and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.